All of this happened over a fairly obscure social media app called Yik Yak, and the student says it was all a joke that got out of hand, but police and fellow university students who reported the issue don't find it funny, especially in the age of mass shootings. Especially given the political climate of mass shootings on a rising country. Tenem Ikbot just five months into his tenure as an undergraduate at the private University of Hartford when officers entered his dorm room Sunday night with a warrant for his arrest. I got Glocks on deck. We bout to have a shootout. And who finna die come to stow are some of the messages written on the social media app Yik Yak. They didn't find any weapon. Um, he didn't threaten any particular person or particular group. Um, he's a, he had just turned 18. Fellow students reportedly alarmed and concerned for their safety at Stowe. One of the on-campus dorms referenced in the messages flagged them for campus police. But police found no semi-automatic weapons, and 18-year-old Iqbot told police it was all a joke. There was some joking nature involved. Um, however, we're going to treat them all the same. It's not going to be tolerated. Yik Yak is a decade-old social media app relaunched in 2021 that lets users have discussions with people in a five-mile radius. Within an hour of its request, the app led police straight to campus. We did an emergency disclosure request to the company um, and got the subscriber info and made an arrest. In a written statement, a spokesperson for UHART said in part, quote, the student has been arrested without incident and has been banned from campus pending conduct proceedings. We take these actions and concerns seriously. Hartford Superior Court echoing the same sentiments Monday when Iqbal was arraigned on a lone first degree threatening charge. There were messages that about a shootout, um, that there were blocks on deck, uh, there were other uh, Students who saw this on campus, they were alarmed, they were concerned for their safety. And Iqbal came to UHart by way of Culpeper, Virginia. He is originally from Mongolia. He does not have a criminal record and is now being held on a $150,000 bond. We're live in Hartford, Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61 News.